In this video, we will be talking about four different types of smashes and when you should be using them. Smashes are a powerful technique that can help you to win rallies. Adding variety by using different types of smashes can help confuse your opponent and make your shots harder to return. Thank you so much and enjoy the video. The first type of smash is the full smash. This is the most commonly known smash where a player uses 100% of their power and puts it into the smash, hitting a very hard and steep shot. Generally, you want to use full smashes to end a rally when your opponent hits a bad shot, such as a half-court clear or a half-court lift. The key point to full smashes is to only use it when you have a chance to end the rally. If you try to full smash a shot that goes all the way to the back, your opponent has a very easy time returning your smash. At the same time, if you try to full smash every shot your opponent hits, they'll also know to expect the full smash. Use the full smash when your opponent hits a weak shot to you, preferably after you personally set it up with a spin net drop or a push or something similar and your opponent hits a weak shot back. The second type of smash is a half smash. In form, this is similar to a full smash where you're still using your whole arm and your whole body to hit the smash. However, at the point of contact, you're instead putting 50% or just less than 100% of your power into the smash. When your opponent sees you wind up for a powerful shot, they may be inclined to move backwards to get ready for a hard shot. You can mix in these half smashes to trick up your opponent. They may be expecting a hard and fast shot to come, but you might be hitting a half power smash instead. This change of speed can help your full smashes get through your opponents in the future if you keep mixing up your half smashes and your full smashes. A third type of smash that I commonly use is the slice smash. Here, just like a full smash or half smash, you're still going to be using most of your arm to perform the smash. But now, you want to tilt your racket head slightly so that you're slicing the bird instead. To do this, you want to hit the shuttle at an angle with your racket head. By cutting the bird, the bird will move a lot sharper in the beginning, but start to slow down. When opponents see you swing really hard, their first inclination may be to move back. However, as this bird suddenly starts slowing down once it starts crossing the net, your opponent is forced to move to the front. You might win the rally right then and there, but if not, this slice smash can put you in a better position during the rally either for a way to follow up and finish the rally, or to just continue controlling the rally. The slice smash is another powerful way to attack your opponents from the smashing position. And the fourth type of smash is the stick smash. Generally, this is a quick snap of your wrist to hit a quick and fast sharp shot to your opponent's side of the court. To learn more about stick smashes, make sure you check out my video, Everything You Need To Know About Stick Smashes. I'll leave a link to that in the comments below. Stick smashes are another great way to mix up your smashes and keep more variety in your shots. Use stick smashes along with slice, half, and full smashes to open up the effectiveness of all your other types of smashes. Full smash, half smash, slice smash, and stick smash. These are the four types of smashes that you should be adding to your game. Use these at the right times and you'll see yourself winning more points. That's all I have for you today. Until next time, keep working on your smashes.